Hi, my name is Eric from Amigo Games. Here at Amigo Games, we offer games with five rules or less, European quality and fair prices. And we test our games with kids and parents to make sure they're fun for families to play together. They're easy enough for kids to learn quickly, but challenging enough for parents to be happy playing them over and over again. Today we'll be talking about Bear Down, a two to four player game for ages six and up that's all about taking risks to catch as many fish as possible without going over the edge. This video will cover a brief overview of how to play the game the object of Bear Down is to be the player who catches the most fish. On each turn, one player rolls the dice and adds water and fish to the board. Then all players move their bears. Play then passes to the left. When you roll this symbol, you add water. When you roll this symbol, you add fish. Sometimes you'll add both water and fish. Note that each water channel matches one of the die. On your turn, roll all the dice and do these things in this order. For each water symbol you roll, slide one tile from the water supply into the top of the matching channel, underneath the bear boulder. This will cause the river to flow, which kids love, by the way. When the water tiles go over the waterfall into the pool, leave them there for the rest of the game. When fish go over the waterfall, leave them in the pool. When a bear goes over the waterfall, move it back to the bear boulder, but leave any fish that the bear was carrying in the pool. After you slid in all the water tiles, place one fish on a water tile in the matching channel for each fish that you rolled. In each channel, you should always start with the water tile closest to the waterfall and move toward the bear boulder, but skip any water tiles with bears on them. You can only have one fish to a water tile on each turn, but fish will start to stack up as the game goes on. Now it's time for everyone to move their bears. You can move your bear as far as you like, forward, backward, left, or right, but not diagonally. You can start anywhere along the boulder, but your bear cannot jump over rocks, you cannot move past another bear, and you can't pass up a fish. Bears have no impulse control, so they stop right away. After you move your bear, all other players take turns moving their bears. Then the next player rolls, places water and fish, that player moves first, and the rest of the players move their bears. When players move to a tile with a fish on it, they collect all the fish on that tile and keep them under their bears when they move. If, however, bears get washed over the edge, the fish stay in the pool and the bear swims back to the bear boulder. Womp womp. To collect fish, move your bear along with any fish underneath it back to the bear boulder. All of the fish under your bear are yours to keep. They can't be taken away from you. Yum! The game ends when you run out of water in the water supply or fish in the pool. The player with the most fish wins. So, that's how you play Bear Down. Early strategy games like this have profound impacts on children's decision-making and strategic thinking skills. These are critical success skills for kids. Parents are always looking for engaging experiences that offer fun and learning. This is a two to four player game that takes around 15 minutes to play. Most strategy games can take a lot longer than this. So if a child is losing in one game, you can quickly set it back up and play another game or two in the time it takes to play a single game of something else. So that's Bear Down. <clears throat> So that's Bear Down. Please contact us here at info at amigo.games or 844-962-6446, extension 704, to reach me personally. If you have any questions or if you'd like to set up a one-on-one -on -one training for Bear Down or any of our games, please reach out. Thank you so much for your time. Bear Down and have fun.